Hey everybody, what's up? Rod here with some more Shadow of the Tomb Raider for you. And go ahead and continue on with the uh, challenge tomb here. Sorry, I was setting up my. I went to go do the timer and it was like, nah, dude. Um, so I think what we want to do is jump on this. Oh my god, that's loud. Can we shoot it from here? On. Looks like when you head over this way. Okay, I'm like, uh, don't know if that's a ledge I can grab. Okay. What is that? Did I shoot that? Oh, wait, can I grab one? I'm super confused. Going for it. What the hell? <laughs> Okay, I did not know it was that kind of uh, spot. That is funny. Okay. So is it not going to be turned on then? Oh, that's super lame. Do this again. Oop, wrong area. this? Can I just walk through it? That's confusing. Yeah, I can't go through there. Uh, oh, here we go. No? Uh, I am so confused. I mean, I guess, I guess we could jump down that, right? Yeah, okay. Alright. I didn't think we could for some reason. Alright, we got this. Oh, it's already cool. Cool beans. Let's just shoot that one. And shoot. Are you shooting? Oh, okay. I was like, oh. the right thing or not. I don't know where I went. <laughs> I just jumped. Right way. Okay, she says it's the right way, we're going with it. I did not expect those platforms to start falling. That scared the hell out of me. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on. Is this going to bring it back up? Oh, that's gas over there. Okay. I didn't even see that one. Uh, what's over here? Oh, is that how I get over there? Yeah. Oh god, this is so unnerving. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh, hey, I found something. Mariana's my journal. Sweet Abigail, oh my. It is time you learned the truth about your past and your responsibility for the future. You are a guardian, Abigail, as I was. As my mother was before me, and hers before her, and so on and so on. All the way back to the time of Queen Abarane, the mother of multitudes. Centuries ago, she led my people from the dry death of the great drought in Guatemala to the safety of this valley. On her deathbed, she chose a guardian from her line, and the responsibilities of mother were passed on. Eventually, that gift was given to me. Now, with my death, my sweet Abigail, 
I pass on the responsibility of Guardian to you. You already know what to do. You've been doing it all your life. Multitudes. You <clears throat> are the mother of multitudes now. Keep our story well. That's pretty cool. Uh, I might have to name the episode that. That's pretty cool. Mother of multitudes. Abby, I've got your grandmother's journal here. It's... She's written to you. You'll want to read it if it looks like a place to cross. Sorry. You, you can't leave me hanging like that. Go on, what does it say? The short of it? You're a descendant of the Maya Queen Abarane on your grandmother's side. You're the latest in a long line of protectors that... What? Queen Abarane. Grandma is related to a Maya Queen. Wait, I'm related to a Maya Queen. <laughs> yes. You're a guardian from what your grandmother said. It's all here. What does that mean? I, I'm not even Maya. I... This day has gotten way too heavy. Bilar's got a lot of explaining to do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Abby, I found a mural depicting a great journey. A Maya queen leading thousands of her people from Mexico to Peru. Why did she lead them here? There are many theories about what happened to the Maya. There are old favorites, invasion, civil war, collapsing trade routes. But one theory has become very popular, that the Maya civilization was ultimately doomed by a period of severe climate change. She was probably uh, leading them out of a decade-long drought. Yeah. So, where'd they all go? Well, Paititi would be my guess. I hope those all stay on. I just realized that. But we can't go back now. So it looks like our option is... I think we have everything set up now. I think our option is to go down here. I think that's what they were trying to make it seem like you go this way. Because that's not that bad of a fall. Yep, here we go. Alright, see, here we go. Now it all makes sense. So we gotta jump on this again. Oh shit, there's two of them. Three of them. What the what? Oh no, not that one. Looks like if that kills me, I'm gonna laugh so hard. Uh oh. Oh, I gotta pull this down. Okay. I was like, what happened? We were doing so good. Oh, no, get on me. Oh. I always make that mistake. Oh no. I messed up. I must have. Oh no. Oh. There's a sarcophagus here. Oh, it's the hell out of me. Definitely royalty. A sarcophagus. Like a coffin. Yes. Exactly like a coffin. I thought it was a forge. Whoever is buried here, they were very closely tied to this place and its purpose. Okay. Made it. Yes, we got it. Whew, what a hell of a challenge to me, guys. That was intense. Craft grenades to deal heavy explosives. Oh, sweet. Alright, two complete. Is this probably just gonna teleport us? Yeah, okay, sweet. I was like, I don't know where to go after that. <laughs> Alright, so the tomb's complete. Now we can go back and finish the mission. Yeah, that was interesting. I liked how they did that. Like the platforms. Because I wasn't understanding it at first. I didn't realize that it was 
you had to go around and turn all the gas on. I thought it was like going to help you raise the levels up to each area, but you had to raise the platforms and then turn the gas on so then you can go up to the next area. And then like there's just a lot of backtracking. They usually don't have you do too much of that, I feel like. So that was an interesting puzzle. I liked it though. We can crack grenades. I wonder if that's attached to the assault rifle. Because I don't think I have a grenade launcher. I didn't really look at it, honestly. It's like I don't have some... I don't have combat that often. So I'm always like, uh... I don't really know what I'm doing every time I get back into it. Ow. And they introduced, like, just like in Batman and Spider-Man games that I played, they introduced like a new type of enemy each area you get to. So it's like you gotta try and remember what to do for the first couple enemies and then learn what to do for the new enemies and you're just trying to like, my brain gets confused so much. Okay. So, back to Abby we go. There we go. It's like, why aren't you swimming? Oh, who's this? Oh, yeah, that's right. You guys, I forget you guys are hanging on here. So. Everything is for sale. Except Remax yeah. drum. Okay. Good luck, Lara. Thank you. So, this way. Oh. All right. That's pretty cool though. She's played to a queen. I knew she was a badass, but that's sweet. Let's see what happens when we take her the item back or whatever it is. And here we go. Yep. Grandma Ma. You found a hidden place? Oh yeah, we did. It was a forge. Oh, I did. It's something more as well. Yes. It is the resting place of the Maya Queen Avarane, the first guardian of Kuakyaku. Oh, she built the forge to construct an artifact of great power. What artifact? Uh, I don't know. Mariana told me that what was born from that place had long been lost. But she said the message it contained would always endure. It was a message of hope for the future. Okay. If you knew about all this, why wouldn't you tell me? I'm sorry, but I made a promise to Mariana. So what? I'm supposed to accept that I'm Maya all of a sudden? Abarrane's bloodline has been diluted over the centuries, but you are descended from her. So what does this mean? You're a guardian, Abigail. Like Mariana and her mother before her, all the way back to the time of Abarrane. <laughs> I can't be a guardian. I have responsibilities here. I've... You've been protecting this village for years. Hasn't a little bit of you always known? Felt, compelled, somehow. You are the keeper of the story now. That's what Grandma used to say. She said it was her job to keep its story. To keep it safe. She promised that one day she would show me where it was. And then I'd be the keeper of its story. She didn't forget her promise. She just had a different way of showing you. Huh. It's so like her, isn't it? She couldn't just tell me. Had to make a treasure hunt out of it. <laughs> <sighs> I loved your grandmother as if she was my own sister. But sometimes she was a gigantic pain in the ass. <laughs> Abby, I think I'll leave you two alone to talk about things. Sounds like you've got some catching up to do. Thanks, Lara. Here, I want you to have this for all your help. And before you say anything, it's customary, so you kind of can't say no. Thank you. So I assume it's an outfit.
Oh, it's a gun. Ooh. Pretty cool. Thank you for purchasing the path home. A new mission waits for you in the mission of San Juan. Fight the final battle and experience the ultimate reward of the path home. Now, I saw this one pop up on my list and I think it's supposed to be like in-game, like completely in-game stuff. So... I figured we would do the rest of them and then we could save that one for last. Yeah, we don't have any other... Yeah, all we have is the path home and the serpent's heart. So I guess let's head back to Paititi. Cool. Um, I wanted to show you guys, because I usually do this stuff off screen, but I figured to show you guys so you can uh, check it out if you want. Um, I don't know if any of you guys care about trophies or not. Like, I, I used to a lot, but I found more as I go on that it's kind of like, you know what? I enjoy it, but I'm trying to enjoy the games for what they are. So there's a document. There we go. This is the story of local caverns rumored to be haunted. Ghostly noises coming from deep within the bowels of the earth. No one who's entered the caves has ever returned. Mysterious sounds. Something between the booming of thunder and the howling of dogs. And a mysterious light glowing within. Oh, I don't think I know exactly what they're talking about. We already did that. Oops, I always hit the start button. Okay, so... What are we looking at? So we're like 76% complete. I just really get the vibe that, like, once we uh, continue the story, it's going to wrap it up pretty quickly. So let's go ahead and go back to Paititi. And then we'll start the next Chalice Dungeon. Or Chalice Dungeon. Oh my god, I keep saying Bloodborne terms. Challenge Tomb. <laughs> and uh, we'll go ahead and knock that bad boy out. I have a lot of gold. I just realized 15,000. Jeez Louise. Yeah, I still have a couple. Uh, couple crypts. There's two crypts there. There's... Uh, that's almost done. We need, like, a couple more items. That's done. That's done. That's done. The City of the Serpent. Oh, the Peruvian Jungle. Yeah, this one I need a ch two challenges, a crypt, a bunch of relics, a whole shit ton of documents. Good lord. I'll go back and do that stuff off screen though. I just like looking at it just to get a general idea because I feel like if I go back and get that stuff, maybe I'll do that. I'll just go back and grab all this stuff before I record the next episode and then see how much more percentage we get on the map complete. But yeah, thank you guys for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. Um, I always hate having to split the challenge the challenge tombs in two but sometimes I'm like I don't really I mean if you guys wanted it I would have done it but I can only record up to an hour at a time so I always worry that's why I started with like doing 20 minutes in general I think once I get a capture card I'll be able to record for longer because I'll do it through the laptop and whatnot but yeah thank you guys for stopping by hopefully you enjoyed if you did let me know you know where it is down in the comment section hit me up and we'll continue on in the next one. Thanks for stopping by. And I hope you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.